Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Arundhati Tech for you. In this video, we are going to learn the use of shortcut menu. So friends, if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel Arundhati Tech for you. Coming to Excel, I have a student information table and now I want to format text and background of heading. So I will first select the heading and right click. When I right click, you can see a shortcut menu appears on screen, which contains list of tools and which will make our work easy. Now I want table heading to be Algerian style. So again, I will select drop down list. I will select Algerian. Here we are. Now I want to increase the size of heading. So I will select again drop down list of size and I will select size 14. Nice, right? Suppose if you want to increase the size and decrease the size, you can have other alternative options beside the size, which is big A size and small A size. Big A size will increase the font size and small A size will decrease the font size. Nice, right? Suppose if you want, if I want to merge whole row into one cell, I can do by using a shortcut menu. First, I will select again, right click, go to the merge and center. Nice, right? And I can also select bold. Nice. Suppose I want to change the background and text of the heading. I will just go to the background. I will select light blue and the text as a red. Nice, right? Suppose I want to go to the table inside the table and I don't want any lines within the table. So I will just go to the table, select whole uh, table, leaving the heading, right click, go to the borders, no border, select no borders. Nice. So now I don't have any borders, but I want a thick outer edge border. So I will again right click, go to the borders, thick outside border. Nice. Nice, right? Let us come back again. You can also use sorting and filtering by using shortcut menu. Suppose I want the name of the candidate in ascending order. So I will select one of the cell and uh, I will right click, go to sorting and in sorting, I will select A to Z. That means ascending order. Here we are. And uh, you can see Ramesh didn't go down because it has space. So I will just remove space again, right click, sorting A to Z. Here we are. Now you can see first alphabet A, second alphabet B, again no C, after that D, so on. Let us come back by using control Z. Here we are. Hmm. You can also filter, for example, I want only female candidates to be appear. So again, I will select right click, go to filter, select by values, click here. See, you can see only female values are filtered and male values, you cannot see that they are hidden. Nice, right? Just clear, we'll fill, clear the filter. Uh, suppose I want to insert any comment. Let us assume CEC. CEC means it should appear as a commerce, economics, civics. So again, I will right click. Go to insert comment here. I will just remove and I will say commerce economics civics. Right. When I click, when I select CEC automatically, you can see commerce economics civics. You can also delete comment by using shortcut menu. Just right click go to delete comment click now you can see no comment will appear here nice right so students just 
go on practicing thank you